Hello grade 6 students. Today we are going to see the first unit of your science wonders of the living world. First we will see what is the environment. The environment is the surrounding including us. It consists of land, water bodies, houses, plants and animals and etc. In our environment, there are many other components. According to the components, the environment can be classified or according to their nature, the environment can be classified. We will see the four types of environment. Here you can see the first, the picture of the city. Next, the picture of the village. And the third and fourth are forest and seaside respectively. Here you can see the first in the picture. In the city picture, you can denote the travelers, peoples, and the peoples in the shops, houses, buildings, and the factories, vehicles, and many other. In the second, the second picture, the village, you can see the paddy fields, or many the fields, shops, and the river, the big tree, the bird in it, cattle, the man, two or more man. Cows, houses, mountains, and temples. If you choose these two environment, you can see them different types of diversity among these two environments. In the first picture, there are no chance to see the plants, but in the second picture, that is full of nature. And third, that is fully, completely nature. You can see the animals, birds and the insects, big trees, river and completely that is nature. And the fourth, you can see a fisherman, the ships traveling in the sea and the ships that are in the rest of the side of the sea. The birds, clouds and many other. And in the next, in this four different environment, which environment is suitable for the living for human beings? Here, the first is, we will choose our villages. Okay, villages are the best place to live. Because there are no pollutants. It's full of field gas. That is full of pure waters pure clean air but in the first picture there are the smokes from the factories smokes from the vehicles dustbins and many other so they are not suitable for the human beings they can cause more diseases for the human beings okay and we first we will think if you take the shoe that you wear when you are you were a baby okay when you were a baby but now you couldn't wear it why what's the reason you take okay repeat i am repeating take the shoe that you are now wearing and take the shoe that you were wearing when you were a baby okay Take them and keep it near. You can observe that the shoe that you wear when you were a baby will be very small. But the shoe now you are wearing is little big. Because you have increased in size, height, amount. And this is called as growth. You will think what is growth? The growth is a special characteristics of the living things. Okay, growth is a special characteristics of the living things. Etc. The growth. There are many others. Okay, excepting growth, there are many others as movement, respiration, reproduction, excretion, sensitivity, and nutrition. Okay. And here you can see, according to these characteristics, according to the, these characteristics that I say, 
Let's see in that in the order. First, growth, nutrition, movement, respiration, reproduction, excretion and sensitivity. These are the main characteristics. Okay. And the components with growth are called living things. All living organisms. What is organism? Organism is a special name for living things. Okay, and the components without growth are called non-living things. But when we you are going to write a definition about non-living things or living things, you should know that the, that the components without growth are called living things. Okay, you should try in the exams that the components that show growth, nutrition, movement, transpiration, and reproduction are called living things or living organisms okay and now let's see some living things and non-living things here you see the the two main characteristics as the living things and non-living things in the first chat in the first chat and the next chat you can see in the first there are is a boy dog tree and bird the boy, dog, tree and bird can grow, move, eat, respirate, but water cycles turn books and pens, cannot eat, move or grow. Okay, and they cannot move themselves. Okay, they cannot move themselves. The cycle can move, but it cannot move themselves. We should give a force and make it to move. Okay. Did you understand what is living things and non-living things? Let's see some types of living things. First, plants and animals. Okay. The main groups divided in living things are in the three. They are plants, animals and microorganisms. Here you can see plants and animals. First plants as coconut, yak, bamboo, papaya, mango and etc. And the animals, deer, fish, parrot, butterfly, snail, centipede, millipede and many other etc. 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 Okay, there are many other type of living organisms in the world. In the world, there are 3.5 trillion organisms in the world but in that 1.5 are the animals 1.5 are the animals okay and next the third is the special character the special organism that is called microorganisms why they are called micro? Micro, first you will see what is micro. Micro means small or tiny. So, the micro organisms mean the tiny organisms. Okay, the organisms that cannot be observed with naked eye. Naked eye means our normal eye. Okay, when we are seeing a wall or floor, we cannot see micro organisms. But if we use microscopes, we can observe microorganisms. Okay? And you should write the definition in your exam papers as the organisms that cannot be observed with neckties are called microorganisms. Some microorganisms that can be observed in the water taken from the pond are in, given below. Okay? These are some pictures of the microorganisms lived in the drop of water in some pots. First, you can see as the shape of starfish, as a starfish, that is called as alga, that is called as, sorry students, that is called as amoeba, that is called as amoeba. And next is clamidone bonus. If you see any organism same to this clamidone bonus, yes, that is cockroach. The, the shape of clamidomonas and the shape of cockroach is nearby same. And next, the paramecium. Paramecium will be the shape of the butter. 
okay the bata and next bacteria bacteria are in spherical rod and many other shapes okay the first the first man who observed microorganisms is Anthony van Leeuwenhoek Anthony van Leeuwenhoek he made the microscope there himself and observed the microorganisms what is microscope? Microscope is the instrument that used to observe the microorganisms. These pictures are not made by drawing. These are observed in the microscope. Okay. The microscope such as divided such as compound microscope and electron microscope. Compound microscope is used to observe as the type of Microorganisms first is fungi, bacteria, protozoa and alga. An electronic microscope is used to see viruses. Okay, to see viruses. Viruses are the living things or oh, viruses are the organisms that show living character and non-living character the living character that they show are reproduction the living character that they show are reproduction they cannot show growth movement respiration and nutrition and this reproduction also done in only the human cell or living organism cells. Without any other living organism cells, viruses cannot reproduct. So viruses as, are known as the organisms with living characters and non-living characters. Okay, the first characteristics of the organisms, growth. Here you can see the two pictures that the small kitten now become a big cat and the small coconut plant now the big coconut tree okay that is growth we have talked about the growth with comparing with the shoes as that the weight of the kitten and the weight of the cat differs. The size of the kitten and size of the cat differs. These are the characteristics that show growth. Okay, the, we will see what is growth. Increasing of size, height, amount is called as growth. What do you mean by amount? The amount there. Amount is weight. Okay, the amount is weight. Okay, the weight of kitten and the weight of cat is different. The size of kitten and size of cat is different. And the height of kitten and the height of cat differ. Okay, this is known as growth. Now we will see an experiment to observe the growth. So the seed for in water for one day. Soak the seed in water for one day. The seed seeds that we should use is green grains or cow peas. Green grains or cock pea. Okay? Green grains or cock pea. These can germinate in one day in the water and we you should plant them in the yogurt cup with soil and after two or three days you can observe that the plants coming up here the picture is shown of the green gram growth here we have now planted a seed it starts to germinate it's become bigger 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 and now it is because Okay, this is growth. You can see the size of sheet is this size. But the size of plant is this size. Okay, this is growth. I think that you have understand the growth. If you have any doubts on it, 
you can clear that by asking questions in comment box okay the next is nutrition what is nutrition the organisms satisfying the food requirements of them are called as nutrition okay satisfying the food requirements of organisms is called as nutrition all organisms need food to survive okay all organisms need food for survival including us we eat three times a day as that every organism eat even microorganisms also eat the most green plants make food with themselves you do not think that we cook so we also make food ourselves that's not true okay not cooking is made food ourselves okay the plant can produce a fruit but you cannot produce a fruit because the plants are called autotrophs as they can produce the food for them the process of the plants producing food for them is called as photosynthesis okay in the photosynthesis plants use carbon dioxide and the carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and soil water sunlight to produce food okay plants using carbon dioxide from atmosphere soil water and sunlight to produce food is called as photosynthesis here is the picture of the photosynthesis here you see sunlight is get to the plant and here the plant taking sunlight okay and using carbon dioxide and releasing oxygen and here the food that produced is stored as a fruit or a jam okay a fruit or a jam but in the some kind of plants they store food in their stem as kithol sugar cane okay the food i'm saying that food 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 what is the food of the plants we eat different types of food as rice apple dosa and pitu and rare okay and etc we eat but the food that produced by plant is will cause the food produced by plant is glucose and the next type of organisms taking their food by depending on plants directly or indirectly okay depending on plant directly or indirectly there we will see some examples for the organisms that depend on plants directly and indirectly the goat you know goat cow they eat plants directly but if the lion or cheetah that hunt the goat and eat that goat they depend on plants indirectly because the goat has eat the plant now cheetah is going to eat the goat so cheetah will also get the nutrition of plant but they are getting the nutrition of plant indirectly and these are called heterotrophs okay the animals that depend on plants directly or indirectly are called as heterotrophic as i say above the microorganisms can also eat some microorganisms act as autotrophs and some microorganisms act as heterotrophs in the five types of microorganisms bacteria fungi protozoa and alga only eat because i have said about that viruses cannot eat they can only do reproduction so in the fourth types alga is the type that act as the autotrophic they can do photosynthesis algas can 
do photosynthesis and some kind of alga can seen by naked eyes some kind of alga can be seen by naked eyes they are called as ulva okay the types of alga that can be seen by naked eyes is called as ulva and the plants also act as heterotrophic can you believe this yes you should because some plants eat insects you know insects eating plants what the reason for why they are eating insect is they need nitrogen some plants cannot be able to absorb new nitrogen from soil or atmosphere so that they eat insects for their nutrition as nitrogen okay if they need nitrogen they eat insects okay so you should know that microorganisms plants and animals can eat plants are autotrophic but some type of plants are heterotrophic they act as heterotrophic for completing of the nutrition that they need and some microorganisms like as autotrophic they are the types of alga okay and according to the depending on plant according to the depending on plant they are divided into two three groups omnivores herbivores and carnivores omnivores herbivores and carnivores first one is the omnivores omnivores that they depend on plant directly and indirectly means they can eat plants directly or they can hunt and eat any other animals okay this is called as omnivore and the herbivore is you can observe in the name herb so they do not eat the other organisms they do not eat other organisms they directly depend on plants they directly depend on plants and carnivores they completely independent on plants they completely independent on plants they only hunt and eat another animals they only eat another animals the man crow rat hen are the omnivores cow goat deer are the herbivores and lion cheetah tiger are the carnivores okay and for your external knowledge during the process of photosynthesis plants absorb carbon dioxide and release oxygen so the amount of the two gases in the air can be kept constant okay if we already produce carbon dioxide the amount of carbon dioxide in the air will be high so that plants of absorb carbon dioxide and release oxygen so the environmental conditions will be kept normal because the air is kept constant the two gases in the air is kept constant okay and next is movement movement can classified in different types as locomotion movement in plants many other movements are there but you the type of movement that you should study is locomotion okay the animals moving one place to another place is called as locomotion animals moving one place to another place is called as locomotion here there are some pictures you can see first fish fish can show locomotion by swimming and snakes can show locomotion by creeping horse by running birds by flying and human by walking but some animals cannot move some animals cannot move they are sea animals and coral polyps sea animals and coral polyps in the ocean 
they fixed on any other non-living things in the rocks or the mountains inside the sea they only fixed and grow in the non-living things but the type of nidaria the type of nidaria that is called as hythra cannot move but it can move okay cannot move but it can move what means that it cannot move itself but it attach in the living organisms in the ocean and they can move okay they attach on the living organisms in the ocean and they can move but some hydras move by floating they do not show any other any other types of uh, swimming or creeping they are the free floating organisms they are the free floating organisms okay they move by floating in the water and next the plants such as mimosa can show the sleeping movement show the sleeping movement when the mimosa plant is touched it shows sleeping movement but albinia and sesbinia albesia and sesbinia show sleeping movements in the evening tamadane albesia sesbinia the albesia is kathuru murunga and agathi okay sesbinia so students sesbinia means kathuru murunga alladhu agathi okay in tamil it is known as kathuru murunga or agathi and tamarind leaves show the sleeping movement in evenings okay and there are many other movement that the plants move to lights the plants roots move below the soil these are the types of movement shown in plants here you can see the plant is kept in the window side after some days the stem of the plant bends towards the sun this is also the plant the movement of plant okay i all also say about this but non living organisms cannot move their own but they can move by the external force applied by us okay next is the respiration all organisms all organisms show respiration and what is respiration mean oxygen in the air once breathed in and react with food stored in the body and produce energy this process is called respiration okay we eat and the food stored in our body when we breathe the food broths and it produces energy okay the respiration is divided into two they are inhaling and exhaling inhaling mean taking air in exhaling mean releasing air out okay in the process of respiration oxygen is used and carbon dioxide is released but in the process photosynthesis carbon dioxide is used and oxygen is released oxygen is the breath taken by inhaling while the produced carbon dioxide is released by exhaling exhaling okay you know when you are respiring when you are breathing your chest move up and down up and down up and down because this process of inhaling and exhaling our chest moves relax and see your chest it moves okay this is called as respiratory movement this is called as respiratory movement because this movement is done by respiring inhaling and exhaling so this movement is called as respiratory movement plants can also breathe but they do not show respiratory movements 
as animals. Okay, plants also breathe, but they do not show respiratory movement as animals. All animals, all animals can show respiratory movement. Okay, all animals can show respiratory movements, but plants cannot do. And the plants breathe in night relaxingly. Okay, in the morning or evening, in the sunlight, they do photosynthesis and the night they breathe. Okay, respiration is the common feature for every organism. But that is not a common feature for non-living organisms. Non-living organisms cannot respirate. The patients with respiratory difficulties are given oxygen artificially. Also, mountain climbers and divers use artificial oxygen. Okay, in the divers and mountain climbers. Okay, divers and mountain climbers, they need artificial oxygen. Because when they are getting in the water or going up to the mountain, there will be the less amount of oxygen. So, they were given artificial oxygen. And the patients with respiratory difficulties are also given artificial oxygen. Okay, and here is the experiment for you that the to show carbon dioxide is exhaled. Okay, to show that the carbon dioxide is exhaled. We should take a straw, test tube and lime water, colorless lime water. And bubble the exhale air. Okay, bubble the exhale layer as shown in the figure 1.16. In this figure, you can see the boy bubbling the exhale layer into the test tube lime water. After some time, colorless lime water changes into white and it changes, changes, changes and it becomes as milky white and if we continuously give our exhale air into it, it will be again become colorless. Okay, according to this, we can prove that carbon dioxide is at scale because the lime water only changes white when it is reacted with carbon dioxide. Okay, the next is the final characteristic of living organisms reproduction given in the book okay the reproduction mean the matured living being producing new member of the same species okay mature living being producing new members of the same species is known as reproduction here you see the bean plant produce bean vegetables or fruits Okay, the beans and the seeds of the beans can grow and produce a new bean plant. And next, hen lays egg. The egg become a chick. And next, the chick become the another hen and it lays egg. And another chick and it lays egg. This is called as reproduction. Okay, the Production of same species of organisms. The reproduction occurs in different methods. Reproduction is essential for the existence of living organisms. If there is no reproduction, the living organisms in the world will be died. Because if this only there is only one hen, for the example, there is only one hen, if it doesn't reproduce, it doesn't lay eggs and produce a new chick after that hen death there will be no hen so the reproduction is essential for the existence of living organisms but reproduction is the only common for organisms living things they do not show these reproductions okay and now we will see diversity of plants the plants are, according to the nature plants can be categorized into three 
plants, trees, shrubs and creepers in the forest. Sorry student, I have said that as tree, trees. They are plants, trees, shrubs and creepers. And they are also diversified by the plants relation on the morphological features such as roots, stem, leaves, flowers, shape, size and color of food and seeds. In grade 7, you will study in the grade 7 first unit. You will study among the diversity among the plants related with morphological features of the plant. Okay, the plants grow, the environment they grow as terrestrial, aquatic, coastal, and mangrove environments. Okay, the plants are also divided by the environments they grow. Okay, here is the chart given for you. You can read that. And here, diversity among animals based on living environment, terrestrial, aquatic, and air. Terrestrial, there are many other in terrestrial, aquatic features. And they are, they say the birds. Okay, they are, they say the birds. And based on feeding mechanism, chew and swallow, swallow with chewing, chew, shark. And based on type of food, carnivores, omnivores, and herbivores. Based on external characteristics, color, shape, appendages. And based on mode of locomotion, walking, swimming, flying, and creeping. Okay. Now we, we have studied about the diversity among the animals. According to this diversity, here you can see the characteristic of plants and characteristic of animals. You, you read this chart. Because it will be helpful to you, yeah? Exam. Okay, first we will see. Plants grow fixed in the ground. They do not show locomotion but show movements. Okay, the plants do not show locomotions. Animals show locomotions. Plants produce food themselves but animals produce, do not produce food themselves. Plants have chlorophyll but animals have not chlorophyll. Growth is visible during the entire lifespan. Thus, growth is unlimited. But the animals is growth is stops after the certain period. Here you can see the animals growth and plants growth. Here you see the graph. The growth of plants are unlimited, but the growth of human are limited. Okay. And dichotomous key. The dichotomous key is used to divide or categorize the organisms using presence or absence of the characteristic okay categorization of organisms by presence or absence of the characteristic is called as dichotomous key here you can see some dichotomous key first the plants leaves with leaf legs leaf without leaf legs Leaflets are divided at one place. Leaflets are divided with different places. Here you can observe these pictures. Okay. And leaves with the pointed tip. This is have pointed tip. Without pointed tip. And leaves with wavy blades. Okay. These have wavy blades. But these do not have wavy blades. Until we get one. We should divide this dichotomous key. If there are any English medium students studying in Tamil schools, the Tamil people studying in English medium, you can see the dichotomous key that I have made special for the Tamil medium students. Okay, and here next, parrot, earthworm, dog, centipede, deer. It is classified as four legs. With four legs, without four legs. With four legs, dog and deer. Without four legs, parrot, earthworm, centipede, and crow. With wings, without wings. Crow and parrot have wings, but earthworm and centipede are not without wings. And here, with legs, without legs. Centipede have legs, but earthworm have not eggs. And with wings, crow and parrot, they are divided into two as with Curved beak without curved beak. Crow and parrot. And the four-legged animals are divided into two as with antlers 
with and without antlers. Okay. And here your summary. You can read this summary. And the next is the exercise for you. You should answer the three first questions in your exercise in the comment box. The person who answer the first three answers correctly will be congrats in next video. Okay, bye students. If you are first for our channel, don't forget to subscribe our channel. If you like this video, you should click the like button and share the video for your friends. Bye. We will see you in the next video.